What the Tech is sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. Visit epb.com to find the speed you need on Chattanooga's only network, delivering 25 gig speeds. As some of us are still munching on Christmas leftovers, here's some food for thought. Half of everybody who's gotten gift cards for Christmas are right now holding on to them. That's about $21 billion in gift cards. And the scary thing is, they might not ever use them. Our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker says even if you have a gift card from a store you'll never shop at, you still have some options. You may want to go through your junk drawers, look on top of the refrigerator to see if you can find some old gift cards. I found a bunch of them. But what do you do if you never darken the door of these stores? You can exchange them online. But how do these services work and is it worth it? Uh, several websites help you sell unused gift cards. Raise and Card Cash are two of the longest operating and most popular exchanges. Visit their websites and select the store where the gift card is from and then enter the amount. Each of these gift card exchanges will show you what it will sell for. But it all depends on supply and demand. Gift cards from certain stores are worth more than cards from other stores. A $50 gift card listed on Raise might sell for $48. That's the suggested price. But Raise charges a 15% fee. You get paid when your card sells through PayPal or direct deposit. If you want to sell it fast, Card Cash will buy the gift card but will pay less. There's $40 for that $50 Lowe's gift card. Or you can trade it for a card from another retailer for a little bit more. Both Card Cash and Raise have B ratings from the Better Business Bureau, but there are multiple complaints from customers of both companies. If you want to sell or exchange gift cards directly with no fees, there are gift card exchange communities on Reddit. And if you go that route, though, you'll need to give the buyer the card's serial number and PIN number, which is what they need to use it before paying for it. So you will need to do some background on the buyer to avoid scams. But you probably won't be happy with the amount you get by exchanging gift cards. So a couple of other options. You can search for a local charity who will gladly accept these gift cards. Or you can put them back in the drawer and give them to someone else next Christmas. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.